Hey guys, um, so today, earlier today, there was a Nintendo Direct, and I just kind of thought I'd do my thoughts on it. I had the video open, I'm just going to kind of skip through it and talk about each part. I watched it when it was live, so uh, I'm not going to try to make this video short, so I'm going to just cut to the chase. So first, um, we had some Bill Trin in action, and then we uh, switched over to Miyamoto, and he talked about Star Fox Zero, the Star Fox game in the Wii U. And I'm not going to lie, I actually like the way it looks. Um, I mean, like, sometimes it's kind of iffy. I mean, Star Fox has had a pretty rough history. So um, seeing a Star Fox game that looks uh, like um, like the legit Star Fox, I don't know. It looks a lot like Star Fox 64, which is obviously the best one, duh. Um, but no, it's it looks good. And one thing that they touched upon that they hadn't done before was they said how the game was going to be structured, which I was actually concerned about, and it's going to be structured a lot like Star Fox 64 was, where there's branching paths and there's multiple endings, but they kind of mentioned that if you got a certain ending, you'd unlock new things, which makes it sound so cool. It makes it sound like there's so many opportunities. And along with that, they also announced a new uh, Star Fox game, or new game, I guess, quote-unquote. It's kind of like a mini-game that comes with the full game, and it's like a surveillance camera puzzle game. I'm not really sure how to describe it. You'd kind of have to watch it. I I, I guess I, I guess it's a puzzle game. It's it's kind of like a defense, keep your eye out on everything type of game. If you hear me clicking, it's because I'm kind of clipping through the video. So also they um, <clears throat> they announced some more Splatoon stuff. I, I actually don't recognize what this is, but but any in any case they did announce some more splatoon stuff some updates are apparently coming they said they they were going to be done with it but um i guess they're not i don't super keep up with splatoon but uh it's a good game and then after that <laughs> they talked about sonic and mario at the olympic games thing i i don't really care about these games and their uh their new exclusive sports that they added to this one sound incredibly lame it's like rugby and like rhythm dancing i don't know it just seemed weird i don't care about that game the box art did look really nice though i saw it on twitter later um for some reason both the 3ds and the wii u version have like really nice box art and then they talked about mario maker and how there's some new things coming to mario maker um it's kind of weird because i think mario makers kind of run its course for the most part like yeah, people still play it, but it's not as, like... I feel like a lot of big-name people aren't really making courses anymore. Like, I know, like, Game Grumps guys are making courses, and, you know... So, it's kind of run its course, but a lot of people probably don't play it as much. But there's still a pretty cool thing being added, which is keys and doors, making it so you, um... And being able to put a key in a enemy, so having, like, mandatory boss fights to proceed, which is pretty cool. A lot of the times you could, like, just skip the boss fight or something... Um, good idea, and definitely I'm, I'm welcoming that. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then the next thing is, uh, it should make me tense a crossfire emblem, which, like, I kind of had an interest in at first, but I'm not gonna lie, when I saw it, I kind of lost interest. I guess my thoughts were, I like Persona, I like Fire Emblem, blah, 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 what could go wrong, yada, yada. But it's, it's kind of like as JRPG as it gets down to, like, the modern JRPG like idol kind of thing that a lot of games do. <clears throat> so it's very Japanese. I don't. They said they're not even doing dubbing it. Like they're just it's a sub, which is fine. I mean, like I don't care about that. Like people like subs, so I'm not gonna start shitting on that. But um, definitely not my type of game. I'm definitely not gonna pick it up. I'm definitely never gonna touch it. I I don't know why. I mean, like. The Fire Emblem ideas of it sound cool, but it doesn't really look like there's any Fire emblem e aspects to it. The coolest part about Fire Emblem is the turn-based, you know, strategy combat kind of thing. This looks like it doesn't have it at all. It's more of a should make me tense with Fire Emblem characters kind of, like, cameoing in, which is interesting, I guess. And the next game was I never heard of. I guess it was a game that they had talked about, but I didn't really ever look at it. I don't know. It's some, like multiplayer dungeon crawling game. I'm I'm sorry if I don't know the name. I'm trying to skip through this video. Point is, it looks kind of dumb, actually. It, from the footage, it looked like it was running at, like, 15 frames a second, I swear. And there are so many of those, like, co-op, mission-based 
RPG kind of games out there, like, you know, Monster Hunter-esque, um, that I don't really give a crap. That was probably the least interesting thing in this entire Direct. Um, next up, <laughs> probably the most interesting thing out of this entire Direct, actually. It literally came out of nowhere, but a Wii U Paper Mario. And if you haven't seen the picture on the left, this has to do with that. Um... <laughs> I'm going to try to not be so blunt about this because I've been like complaining about it since it was shown off. Um, it's a game called like was it Color Splash, I think, or something like that. And it looks really nice. I'm going to get that out of the way right away. It, the music that was playing in the trailer sounded really nice. I had no issue with that. And it looked really nice. It looked like very HD, and it was really nice to see Paper Mario look like that. <laughs> Everything else to come was not nice. I um, it definitely had a big, big hint of sticker star immediately right off the bat. I'm just looking at a screenshot like from the paused video. You only see your health number and like your coin number. It doesn't look like there's anything else like Paper Mario has. It doesn't look like he has FP or badges or anything. And um, real killer here. Nobody's following him. So he has no partner. And, like, immediately, right off the bat, they, I can't believe they had to show this. Like, I swear to God, they're, like, they're asking for people to complain. They immediately showed footage of a map screen, which was one pretty big complaint a lot of people had with this sticker star, was the inclusion of that, like, map level select screen. It kind of dumbed down the game and didn't really feel Paper mario y at least to me. And then they started talking about the gimmick to it. So this is just, like, flat out the footage, like, I'm getting at. Like, this is all just from what I saw immediately. And they talked about it. Not a good thing. They should have kept their mouth shut. Um, they were talking about how it has to do with colors now and how you can, like, color the scenery, which is fine. I don't care about that. Like, it adds another, you know, little gimmick to the overworld, whatever. The battles are really what's important in Paper Mario. Like, it's it's half battles, half overworld. And Sticker Star, I don't think, really got that. The battles were kind of half-assed. Like, you didn't really need to battle anything. It was very puzzle-oriented, but the puzzles were cryptic. I have so much to say about Sticker Star. I don't care. But they were talking about how there's, like, a card system, and the card system was just a flick of the wrist, and the move would come out, which kind of implied that they're getting out of... Yeah, getting rid of action commands, which is, like, the biggest part of Paper Mario, and that's so sad. And another thing is I didn't see anyone but Toads, which was a big issue I had with Sticker Star, because there was a lack of original characters, and, um, I was incredibly disappointed with this, and it, and if this keeps happening, I mean, like, I will I'm not gonna lie, like, the, the whole picture to the left is it's a joke, I don't give a shit, but, um... Like, I, I'll, I'll probably not, like, hate hate this game. The only reason I really don't like Sticker Star is because of the way it plays and the gimmicks they put in it and, and just the fact that I don't like it. Like, I don't hate it, hate it, but I hate the fact that I don't like it at all. Like, I, I really don't find any interest in Sticker Star, which sucks. It's Paper Mario. I love Paper Mario. I love everything to do with Paper Mario, except for Sir Sticker Star. <laughs> And, like, the fact that this, might, this game might be the same thing, and it might just, like, hit the same exact, whatchamacallit, like, notes, or whatever, just might just, uh, it's just gonna be painful. And, uh, I don't know. It's, it's just, like, it's hard for me to, like, I, it looks nice, but it's hard for me not to see, like, normal turn-based combat and the, you know, normal Paper Mario stuff and be excited like i don't know why it just it just seems too gimmicky it seems like they're taking steps backwards really like they're getting rid of fp like why would they just get rid of a layer of paper mario that made it so much fun nobody complained about fp no one complained about partners no one complained about the original characters like it makes no sense to me like it just it makes no sense for a game series to take in a complete step backwards and nobody i feel like nobody can argue that no one will ever say that sticker star is a step up from thousand year door and a lot of people argue that super paper mario was not a step up from thousand year door but in super paper mario's defense it had a lot of it there it just did it differently sticker star is doing things differently and also 
didn't have anything there. And this game kind of seems like the same thing. It's just missing things. It's just... Uh, it's so sad. But, um... Yeah, if you couldn't tell, that was kind of my big uh, spiel. But we'll keep going. Uh, then it was Poke Tekken, which I don't really care about. I'm not going to lie. It, it looks more like an anime fighting game. Like, really over the top, like... It's gonna be ridiculous, and there's some like exclusive character to like amiibos, and I really, I really don't, I don't really care. And then, um, what else? They talked about Twilight Princess, another thing I'm not really interested in. I have never played Twilight Princess. Maybe it'll be a chance to play it. Whatever. And then they talked about the new Club Nintendo, which is cool. I, I loved Club Nintendo, and I was super, super sad to see it leave. But they always talked about how they're gonna redo it with something new. And it's basically the same thing. Like, <laughs> except now they say if you play apps, you get coins. And if you purchase digital games, you get coins. And I don't like the idea if it's just digital games. I don't know. I didn't really. I'm just kind of looking at this right now. But I would. I don't really buy digital games very often. So it'd be kind of a shame. I mean, I play the free-to-play ones. They kind of shove in your face. And, and I do download some games. So it's not that. I'll probably have a good amount of points. But, eh. I would love to have that extra oomph from, like, the physical games. Next is some Mario and Donkey Kong game. It's not even Mario versus Donkey Kong anymore. I just realized that. It's, like, mini Mario and friends. <laughs> what? That's, like, getting rid of the whole concept. I guess they're, they're dropping it. But it's kind of cool. It's, like, a free-to-play game. Apparently it's on the Wii U and 3DS. I didn't even notice that. But um, you can scan your Amiibos in. You can play challenges. I, I don't know how it works. I wasn't... 100% paying attention, sorry. Oh yeah, this is funny. And then they talked about Virtual Console and um, how they're finally bringing Super Nintendo games to the um, to the 3DS, which I guess was long way. I didn't even think about that. They had NES games. But uh, one thing I remember when I got the 3DS originally, like the 3DS 3DS, it came with um, it, eventually I got Game Boy Advance games <laughs> because of like I paid extra money for the 3DS or something stupid and those 3DS games ran like crap and I was like wow this is so weird why would they make this like it, it, they, the resolution was off it just looked really weird and they never ended up releasing those games in the eShop I mean I got them for free because of whatever but they never ended up releasing them and I could see why it, like the 3DS obviously couldn't handle emulating them which is weird but whatever I guess the processor in the 3DS isn't that great um, and I guess Super Nintendo games have the same issue. So now, Super Nintendo Virtual Console games are exclusive to the new 3DS, which is really weird. Like, I don't really care, I have a new 3DS anyway, but it's just such a weird thought that, like, a 3DS can't emulate a Super Nintendo. Um, I have really no interest in this. I don't think you can transfer your, like, because I have a good amount of Virtual Console games on my Wii, and I've transferred a few on my Wii U, even though it costs, like, a dollar or two. Some of them, like, Paper Mario, I really wanted on the Wii U, <clears throat> so I spent that dollar or whatever. But I don't think you can do that with the 3DS games, and I really don't see any reason to rebuy 3DS games. Maybe I'll buy, like, Mega Man X or something, but uh, very specific Super Nintendo games what I actually want on a 3DS. Um... Oh, some horse game by Intelligent Systems. I remember watching this and I was like, wow, Intelligent Systems is obsessed with this dating thing because, like, the horses can, like, romance in it. And I think that's so funny. Oh, yeah. And then um, Azure Gun Vault 2 got announced. And it looks really good. I loved the first one. The first one was such a nice surprise. I remember, like, not knowing it was coming out until, like, a few days before it came out. And I was like, wait, what? NT Creates is making a new game? And uh, apparently this one was advertising that you can, like, play as, like, a Mega Man-esque character who can take people's powers. I don't know. It looked cool, though. I mean, it looked like the first one. And then they talked about Fire Emblem. And I'm actually playing Fire Emblem right now. But they talked about the revelations, the final story to you know, Birthright and Conquest, and they talked about some DLC. Uh, didn't really care that much. Oh, and then, um, is this the right one? No, this is Hyrule Warriors. And they talked about Hyrule Warriors. I also don't really care about Hyrule Warriors. There's so many Dynasty clones out there. I know apparently Hyrule Warriors is a good one, but a lot of them are good. So even Dynasty Warriors is a good series. So I don't know. Maybe I'm not too into Zelda either, so there's really nothing urging me to buy that game. And it's on the 3DS now, and I really really wouldn't want to play it with like the 3ds's frame rate i mean like you just heard me say 3ds have trouble running super nintendo games i don't know how it's going to run a dynasty warriors game but <laughs> whatever um next thing they talked about was some disney art game i don't know <laughs> some also not very interested in that kind of stuff and then they talked about bravely default 2 
I think it's called like Bravely Second. And I played the first one, but I never beat it. It kind of lost interest. Those JRPGs kind of kill me after a while. And uh, I don't know. They talked about a cat thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not very good at this. But uh, I'm not very good at the games. I don't know. And then they talked about Dragon Quest. And I like Dragon Quest. Um, it's not Dragon Quest Eight though. I really want Dragon Quest Eight, which is on the 3DS in Japan. And they have yet to... I think they mentioned that they're... Um, translating it, but there's been no like release date. So when that gets announced, I will be super excited. And then another big thing they talked about, not a big disappointment, but a good thing, is they talked about Monster Hunter Cross, and which are they are calling Monster Hunter Generations in North America. And uh, it, I friggin' love Monster Hunter. I don't think I've really mentioned that in one of these videos before, but I really do like Monster Hunter. I I play. I play it now, actually. I kind of took a break for a while, but I played it when it first came out, Monster Hunter 4, and that's that's my first into the series. <laughs> I'm like a little Monster Hunter baby, right? Um, but um, I played it a lot when it came out, and then I kind of took a break for a while, and I was playing other games, and I just kind of got back into it recently. And I kept thinking, like, oh, like, wow, I really wish Cross was going to get released. And people were saying, like, ah, Cross is whatever. Like, they'll announce Monster Hunter 5. But, like, the thing is, like, if they announce Monster Hunter 5 now, North America is not going to get it for, like, two years. So I'm kind of happy that they are bringing Cross over here because it'll fill my Monster Hunter void. Like, 4 is fun, but everyone I know are is kind of, like, done with 4 and, like, kind of exhausted that game. So I can't wait for cross to come out and being able to play it with everyone or generations my bad and sword and shield looks fucking sexy in that game they have like a whole bunch of new hunting arts and cool moves and it's just oh god it looks so nice i can't wait for that game uh next oh next was oh this is fucking funny the next thing bill trinan said was like here's metroid prime's director eh, talking to you guys about how metroid prime federation force that metroid prime game that nobody wants he basically said, like, here's the director talking to you, saying you should buy this game. And it was just the director talking about how Federation Force is made by the guys who made Metroid Prime, is part of the Metroid lore, and will be worth your time, apparently. And I, I don't think Nintendo really got it. <laughs> like, I don't think it's clicked with them yet. People don't really care about who's making Federation Force. Like what the lore of federation force is like they like they talked about like how it was originally going to be in the dsi and then they got the 3ds and they have the kit like all this like they were like a sob story about how this is like this guy's like dream to make this game or something and it's just like i i, I don't really care <laughs> like i've like but metroid fans I, I am a metroid fan but i don't think i'm like super hardcore like some people but what metroid fans want is like a new solid metroid game and a multiplayer, another Monster Hunter-esque, like, co-op mission-based multiplayer game is not what people want. Like, no Metroid fan wants that. They want their, like, itch for single-player exploration atmospheric game, you know. It's just kind of like, like, Federation Force is coming out at the worst time. Like, literally the worst time. Because if they announced a Metroid game let's say, a year ago, and then they had all this stuff about Federation Force, people would be up... Uh, I don't think people would be, like, super into it, but people would be excited for it. I mean, like, it's just more Metroid, but it's just more Metroid name, kind of. It's like a spinoff, you know, whatever. But when they just release the spinoff and don't make a real game, it kind of hurts. It hurts the fans, especially. And I could totally see that. I mean, I was talking about how sad I am about Paper Mario. It's just, like... You can slap the name on there all you want. You can try new things, but, like, what I want from a Paper Mario game is Paper Mario. Like, that's it. Like, I used to, like... I'm going back to Paper Mario, I'm sorry, but this kind of links to the Metroid thing. But I remember, like, years ago, <clears throat> when I finished Thousand Year Door, I remember just, like, thinking to myself, like, well, that was, you know, that was satisfying. I love that game. And I was like, I just want more of this. Like... I was so, like, happy that this series was so early, like, was so, like, only two games, and that they can just keep making these, and I can just, I couldn't wait for the future, because I couldn't wait for more of these types of games, and like I said before, Nintendo took a step backwards, and it just felt so disappointing. I mean, Super Paper Mario was 
good, but I kind of felt like a spinoff, sort of. But it wasn't bad. Like, I like Super Paper Mario. That game's pretty good. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going back to that. But the same thing applies to Metroid. Like, <clears throat> people want a Metroid game. They want their Metroid fix. They want that game. Like, this, no matter how you put it, this isn't Metroid. And, like, no one's gonna tell me otherwise. It it plays like a first person game i guess it must be metroid right like samus is in it right it just it's a it's a very because th- people will people will defend the game and uh everyone can say yeah that game might be good and no one should ever say it's just not gonna be good no one should just come to that conclusion but a lot of people should come to the conclusion that it won't be like a metroid game which is fair and people cannot like it for that reason that's completely fair um anyway let's move on they talked about this for a while they had some like bullshit trailer that's so cringeworthy oh yes oh, i forgot i almost skipped this um they talked about rhythm heaven uh, a little bit ago they announced a rhythm heaven game in japan which is like a combination of a whole bunch of the rhythm heaven mini games in a 3ds game and they just announced it's coming out in America, and I am so hyped for that. I love Rhythm Heaven, and I love the fact that they're adding new ones, and there's like over a hundred, which is like crazy. <clears throat> and last, but definitely not least, actually, um, they announced a new Kirby game, actually. Um, this is, I don't, I don't oh, shit, I don't remember the name, actually. But, whatever the case, it looks just like Triple Deluxe. Which is fine. I I saw some people complaining about this, but I don't think a lot of people remember that Kirby had like an engine that followed for a while. Like Kirby um Nightmare in Dreamland, Kirby Squeak Squad, Kirby Amazing Mirror, they all kind of felt the same. Kirby's Dreamland 1, 2, 3, and even Kirby 64 were all like extremely similar. And I, I like Kirby spin-offs, like Kirby makes pretty good spin-offs, but Seeing a normal Kirby game is so exciting. Like, Triple Deluxe looked looked a lot like Returns to Dreamland, which is, again, fine. We got our, like, spin-off-esque Kirby game with that Canvas Curse one and stuff. I think this is great. I think this is actually really great. <laughs> and it looked fun. It looked like it added a whole bunch of new stuff. It, it added um, Dr. Kirby, which is a new power-up, which is hilarious. Um, and it had Mechs, which kind of reminded me of the animal suits, actually, from... Um, the dreamland games in the way that if you're in a mech and you have a certain power they have different abilities depending on your power that you've uh, you have it yeah you have absorbed and uh it talked about some mini games like some like rpg-esque like multiplayer quest things again this whole like multiplayer rpg quest thing is so popular right now i mean they're fun um but i think it's like the whole monster hunter craze that a lot of games are trying to um you know what do you call it? <laughs> I'm blanking. They're trying to uh, cash in on. Yeah, that's the word. Um, it looks fun, though. And along with this, um, they announced uh, Amiibos, Kirby Amiibos, which are which already exist. <laughs> like, there's a good amount of Kirby characters in Smash, so... Um, but now you can get Kirby versions, I guess, of Kirby, Waddle Dee, which is new, Meta Knight, and Dee Diddy. Um, which is nice. They're adorable. Like, they're some of the cutest Amiibos I've seen yet. I really like Waddle Dee's and Kirby's. Um, Dee Dee Dee's kind of looks a little weird, but yeah. Um, but that was it, actually. They they ended it with that, and um, overall, I didn't hate that direct. I have, like, particular complaints, obviously, but, I mean, like, it wasn't bad. I think it's, uh, I think I had some cool announcements, and kind of came out of nowhere, actually. I wasn't expecting this direct. Um, very disappointed about that Paper Mario thing, though. I was, I was like... Ah, God, you don't understand. I was so, so, so hoping for another classic Paper Mario. I guess we can wait till next time, right? It's just so sad. <laughs> like, I, I was like, even like, I felt like I was dreaming about the day that Direct comes out and I just see that, like, classic, like, partner behind your back, turn based battle in glorious HD. Uh, but, nah. Also, uh, Mother 3 was not talked about, which kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, it was released in Japan recently on Virtual Console, and um, people were hoping that they'd make a translation, but uh doesn't seem like it, I guess. At least now. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that was the direct. Uh, yeah, it's fucking Paper Mario, man. Um, 
I'm probably uh, definitely gonna pick up that Kirby game. Definitely gonna pick up that Paper Mario game. Not gonna lie. There's no doubt in my mind that I won't get that day one. But you know what? Maybe it'll just to be just to experience how bad it is. <laughs> as sad as that sounds, I'm probably not gonna get Federation Force. Like I know some people that are like, "Well, it's Metroid. I'm still getting it." And I'm like, eh. I don't. I'm not a huge in the uh, Metroid Prime series, so I don't really care that much. Um, definitely getting fucking Rhythm Heaven. Damn, that's a must buy. And um, this other game that I just Star Fox, Star Fox for sure. I already planned on that, but. But yeah, um, not a bad direct. Pretty excited for some and pretty sad about others. But uh, thanks for watching. I would love to see what you thought of the direct in the comments if you bother commenting. So, uh, yep, I just thought I'd make this little video. So, see you guys.